Now, we are going to look deeper into previously discussed services, but from EMP perspective. For most of the parts, it's the same as for CPU. But EMP also have some operations that are unique and specific only to him. Let's start. E-roaming authorization service. Of course, first operation in e-roaming authorization service is e-roaming authorized start. Similar as for CPO, it is used for authorizing charging process in Hamjack platform. Its implementation is mandatory for every online EMP partner. The data model and logic is the same as for CPO related operation. The only difference is that now EMP must be able to handle authorized start request and return e-roaming authorization start response. Next operation is e-roaming authorized stop. It is used for authorizing the stop of charging process. Again, the data model and logic is the same as for CPO related operation. EMP must be able to process authorized stop request and return e-roaming authorization stop response. E-roaming authorized remote start operation is very important for EMP. It allows EMP customers to directly start a charging session with, for example, mobile application. Of course, implementation is mandatory by every EMP partner. Fortunately, the data model and logic is the same as for CPO operation. This time, EMP sends e-roaming authorized remote start request, which must be processed by CPO, and then CPO must return e-roaming acknowledgement, which is directly forwarded to EMP. The opposite operation is e-roaming authorized remote stop. It allows EMP customers to directly stop a charging session with, for example, mobile application. Similar as for e-roaming authorized remote start, implementation is mandatory by every EMP partner. Also, data model and logic is the same as for CPO-related service. As we already know, from CPO authorization service, a CDR must be sent after charging process has been finished. In order to be online EMP, you must implement e-roaming charge detail record operation. EMP system must be able to handle charge detail record request and return e-roaming acknowledgement as a response. But what happens when you would like to be an offline EMP? Or when Hubjack tries to communicate with your EMP system but it fails and you cannot receive a CDR? In this case, e-roaming get charge detail record operation might be useful. It allows EMP to pull CDR's data that was sent by CPO to Hubject platform. EMP does not have to handle CDRs in real time. Instead, it can build some automated process on top of that operation. It's worth to mention that EMP can pull CDRs in case real time processing was not possible for example, due to technical errors. E-roaming get charge detail record request is simple. EMP must specify a date range, what can be done by providing from and to date values. EMP may also narrow down the result by specifying a list of session IDs. Also, it is possible to provide CDR forwarded, which indicates whether the results should contain only those CDRs, which were successfully forwarded to EMP, or maybe not. Response for e-roaming get charge detail record request is a list of e-roaming charge detail record. It's good to know that the data should be paginated. E-roaming reservation service. If CPO offers e-roaming reservation service, EMP may subscribe to it and offer its customers a possibility to reserve a charge point of given CPO. This can be done with e-roaming authorized remote reservation start operation. 
Information if charge point can be reserved is included in value added services field in EVS eData. Cupject must create a session for every reservation because reservation may include some costs which are not strictly connected with charging process itself. For example, it can be fixed fee. Logic and data model is the same as for CPO related service. Second operation is already known, e-roaming authorized remote reservation stop. It allows EMP customers to end existing reservation. After finishing reservation, CPO must generate CDR for a session that is connected to given reservation. Again, data model and logic is the same as for CPO related service. E-roaming authentication data service. This service and e-roaming push authentication data operation is dedicated only for EMPs and its implementation is mandatory for every offline EMP partner. Cupject offers a possibility to push authentication data by EMPs to their platform in order to optimize the whole authentication process. For an offline EMP, that's the only way for their customers to authenticate. Therefore, this operation is mandatory. For an online EMP, you can use push authentication data to optimize the process, but you can have real-time authentication data processing available at the same time. Similar as in other services, update and delete is done with action type field. Object will also keep history of all authentication data records in their platform. In e-roaming push authentication data request, you must provide provider ID together with a list of authentication data records. In each authentication data record, you may specify multiple options for customer identification. For example, it can be identification by RFID card or by QR code. 